All right, here we go with the block out for my below deck pirate ship scene. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's do this. Let's uh, lower the ceiling here. Take this and scale it out like that. I'm not doing this to any dimensions, that's for sure. We're getting rid of this stuff here. And we're looking in here. And we'll make it bigger as necessary. So let's separate some of these out and start naming them right now. So that's going to be the uh, 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 wall side. Uh, I'm going to set this to snap to edge, first of all. And I'm actually going to make that longer. And just, just generally get this thing going here. So we're just holding control as we snap. Something like that. Okay, I want to come in here and I was thinking about extruding that out. I mean, we'll do it like this. I was thinking of extruding out a section of the wall like that. And over here too, maybe. And I might lengthen this here. Let's uh, extrude it out and snap it to there. And I'll get rid of these. And I'll get rid of these. So we have that. I'm going to turn on the cavity shader right now. And we'll flip some polys in a bit. But we're going to need a hole in the ceiling. Let's just start that. Start that like this for the stairs to come down. I don't know how big, so we'll just we'll just do something for the moment. And uh, just for the moment, let's take that piece and break it out and grab that look from the side the side and wireframe and extrude it down like this okay just so we start to get a sense of how this might work those will actually be stairs now we're gonna have I want a rising a riser type of piece let's see if, um, for the moment I'm going to do this. I'm going to just take that piece and bring it up and extrude it down and delete that bottom face. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Now that's going to be right in the corner there. I can fix those up. something something like that obviously it's not going to be over that here I think what I need to do right away is put a bevel on these things so I can start seeing them do that and then I'll take this and this and control L copy modifiers we'll start getting bevels on here and I guess we should look at this okay so I'm going to flip that Flip that and that. I'm going to flip the ceiling and this. Okay, that's better. Okay. I control I X vertices X edges so I have just that and 
Control L, copy modifiers. Just for now, I'm just going to duplicate it. Okay. I'm going to bring my 3D cursor to the middle there and bring in plane. Let's just focus on that stuff. Just a wooden a wooden stairway. I'll damage it up uh, later on. And uh, let's bring that down there. Okay. And let's add an array. We're going to come out in the Y. And let's bring some of these up. And in the Z, we'll bring it up here. And we'll just mess around with them until we get it the way we like it. I think that's too far apart for what I want. Okay, let's try that. Hold down shift. Again, just to block out, so. Okay, say that was there. this and bring it forward a little bit let's give this a little bit of thickness like that those stairs I've got the that I'm gonna add a bevel 0 0.01 okay like that I'll deal with that okay and again I'm gonna keep some of this stuff so Yeah, okay, something like that could work. So let's take this and we'll snap it to there. And let's take this one and we'll snap it to there. Okay. I'll I'm going to work on this hole here still. And I'm going to bring it in. Like that. I was thinking of some kind of a support. Let's just bring in a plane uh, right there. It may be fancier, or it just may be a, just a big uh, post. in get rid of that let's scale shift Z oh, wasn't quite at the top was it okay grab that and uh, let's get that bevel on there moving too quick here and we're losing ourselves there we go I'm gonna put a, a lantern on that I'm 
do that in a bit. Okay, so I, I want it like a little bit blocked off. That still may be too big for my liking. Something like that. Okay. And uh, let's come in here and grab a piece of this. Shift D. P to break that out and make some kind of shelving unit back here. Uh, let's just see. Make it something like this. Um, maybe it doesn't look right if it goes into the corner. I'm not sure yet, but we'll go ahead and uh, just uh, inset like this and back. Let's see how far back. And just maybe one shelf in there. It doesn't have to be right in the middle. Uh, let's. I'm going to break that out though take this edge and bring it back a little bit and then take that and give it some thickness there. We'll put a few things on there to clutter the place up. I'm just going to take it all and shrink it down a, uh, a little bit. Where's the floor on this thing? There. Something like that, and um, put some stuff on there soon. Let's see if we can get a shadow going. I'm going to switch this to both. I need some more definition in this. Maybe I can go without the shadow. I'll do that for now, so this makes it a little easier for me to see. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to control plus. I want to move this down, make that a bit. In fact, I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to pull them out a bit closer to the stairs. And in between here, I'm going to do something now. I'm not sure I might have a window, although this is the lower deck. I might have a bed. Um, I do have some ideas. I don't want to tell you everything. So just follow along and we'll see what we're going to do here. Uh, not now. <laughs> this is this is just uh, for the temporary, for the time being. It's just like another little shelf in there. Um, I can start getting rid of some f uh, faces. Uh, not that this is necessarily going to stay like this, but I will get rid of those at least. The least I can do. Let's do that. So some stuff's gonna go there. Uh, let's do a quick barrel just to start getting some sense of uh, scale in here. So uh, I can just start it over there. I'm gonna use a cylinder and we'll go for just 18 vertices. And Okay, we're gonna try something here. We're gonna bring that, uh, sorry, that's not what I wanna do. I wanna scale that out and then I'll bevel it. I'm gonna do that and I am going to, I guess I'll do both sides. Grab those. I'm gonna inset it like that. E and scale Z, pull it down that let's say and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this in actual geometry for now just so we can actually see the thing we start to get the sense of some texture where's your other sides grab all these edges yeah and we'll control B just with two like that E and alt S and pull do that kind of thing like that now I can uh, scale this in the Z or something. How about if we uh, select here, shift S, cursor selected, and we'll bring in a circle and we'll make it 18 as well. Scale it down. 
and I'm just going to not that extrude up to give it some thickness break down a little bit more like that yeah okay E and Alt S and I'll push I guess to bring it in X faces we will bevel this by hand just like that shade smooth I'll probably do a control one on it this one oh, we need the bevel oh, I should just be able to grab it from here and it's not too smooth but that's gonna that's gonna be okay like that and um not that I don't care that much about this because it's you know just right now it's block out phase but we'll do that and then on this let's just focus on that stuff look from the front let's come into this piece what would be metal I guess we'll bring the 3d cursor there and I'll bring in a UV sphere I'm gonna make this 12 and 8 scale it down wireframe box select and ah, delete those uh, I'm gonna scale in the Z just a little bit rotate X 90 and scale some more get that in there and to, you know just to put these bolts in here shade smooth yeah something like that is okay so let's take the ring and bring the 3d cursor there and select that I'm gonna look down from the top going to wireframe or in edit mode sorry put the 3d cursor there shift D rotate Z 180 select them both shift D rotate Z 90 select everything shift D rotate Z 45 that should give me all of those and I'm actually gonna take those and I'm gonna join those to that so I can take the whole thing now and duplicate it up and I'll scale it uh, let's get rid of that I'll scale it in and that's that's okay well no that's maybe not okay um, all right in that case what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll grab the bottom there and I'll just scale it out a little bit yeah. actually you know what wondering if I want those bolts at all that's actually okay I'll do it like that so I'll take this um, I'll, uh, let's do it in wireframe <laughs> okay uh, control L shift D let's bring it down but let's flip it around let's uh, rotate Y 180 so that it works a little bit better yeah that's probably okay no nope, it's not quite okay yet there we go all right uh, can we join those no just join it why not do something up here I'll probably texture this differently I just want to have some kind of a barrel so we got a barrel now and uh, by the way we should always it's good practice to go M merge by distance just in case so I got that there and uh, you can go back here for the moment and I'm going to uh, set the origin of the geometry and we're gonna we're gonna play around with these guys here all right so what I want to do is I want you here and I'm gonna I'll go into edit mode I'm gonna rotate X 90 and we're gonna actually have you laying on your sides here and then we can get a sense of if you're the right size probably okay they can be big ones Maybe those pirates like to drink so uh, let's take this one actually it does look a little bit big to me let's do that and uh, we'll duplicate it here and I'm gonna just focus on this so I can see what I'm doing okay we'll duplicate it and we'll do another one and uh, let's just once in a while uh, just rotate it so the bolts are not exactly I don't think you'd ever notice it but anyways we'll do that and we'll have one more if, if I can fit another one and by the way they don't all have to come out to the same distance we can have this kind of thing staggered a little bit and you can have these angled a little bit yeah that kind of thing yeah, you know whatever let's try that see if those okay that goes into the wall right okay so you know what maybe we don't need that last one so we got those sitting there and 
And I'm thinking that I'm going to shrink them all down. Get rid of that one. You know what? Maybe I do want another one standing up there. Because, uh, yeah, they do like to drink. I know they do. And that's what they do in their spare time when they're not whatever they robbing robbing searching for treasure and they drink okay so we'll have some barrels in there and we are going to have maybe a sh broken ship wheel so just for fun uh, just and just quickly we will do something like this. Uh, maybe I will shift D, scale, uh, scale shift Z maybe. And just for now, we'll fill that in, we'll fill that in will bevel these things here. I'll get the size that I like in a second. I think, uh, I think I want that a bit smaller. Okay. It's early in the evening, so all the motorcycles are going by. Let's bevel this, and it'll be control one anyhow. We'll do that. And let's just focus on that thing. And uh, I'll bring in a cylinder. I'm at 18. Rotate X90. Come out to there, maybe. I'm going to inset. I'm not going to do anything fancy right now. I'm just going to bring that in. And I'm going to bevel these edges, and that's going to be it for the moment. Actually, I'll need to bevel under here as well, so I can shade smooth. All right, we'll take that now. That doesn't. I don't know if you want to hold on to that. Maybe it has to stick out a bit more. We'll do the real deal soon. Um, let's set th th the 3D cursor and uh, where are we? Yeah, shift D, rotate 180. I don't even have to say rotate Z. 90, do the whole thing. Just to get an idea, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, it doesn't have to be really good yet, so let's uh, join those, even though I had a subdivision on that, I don't care. That's fine. And by the way, let's uh, make sure. Okay, let's take this and let's rotate X90. And I'm just thinking it's going to be laying against the back wall, so let's actually go in and get it a bit smaller. We'll do it like that. Let's just let that sit there for now. Yeah, let it sit there for now. Okay, let's get some lanterns up in this block out so far. So, um, how about... Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing like candle lanterns or oil, oil lights, um, if that made sense, but we're going to do something like this. This is not necessarily the design I'm going to use, but we're blocking out in case I haven't said that yet. So we'll just do this. We'll do that. Do 
this. Okay. Let's uh, let's delete that and uh, work on this. I don't uh, I don't want it like that. Uh, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna scale this out. I didn't want it straight down. I'll take that and shift D, rotate Y 180. And I'm just going to join these and then we'll get the uh, we'll get the size that we want. So I can get rid of these. I'll dissolve those. I'll go in the wireframe and then I'll just Okay, we'll come in here and just extrude it down, maybe in. Well let's start beveling. A little bit. So yeah, we could do a bunch of this at once, I guess. We'll do that. We'll bevel this edge. Really need to bevel the whole darn thing, don't I? I suppose this is why people use modifiers. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it, just so it looks okay. And then when it comes time to make the real thing, I'll decide if any of this is usable. Uh, and it might be. Okay, get off. Okay, I just don't want it quite that long. And I might scale shift Z too. Just looking at that back post and trying to get a sense of it. Let's take this thing. Yeah, and I'm going to scale it down. There's going to be one against this post over here and, and right there, I think. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's take the top of it now. No, I can't do that very very easily. I can uh, extrude and scale, however. And I can... Um, what do I want to do? Just go up. I may have some crossover there. Yeah, it's pretty much the same on the top and the bottom. But anyways, what I was thinking was um, come down here. I'm going to do some kind of a design on the bottom, but just for now, I'll just use the UV sphere like I did before. Um, like I just had a UV sphere. I'm just going to put that on like that, basically. So I'll just delete the top part of it. And I'll shade that smooth. It's good enough for now. And then what I thought we could do, let's see if I shade smooth where we're at. Let's just break this up. Push that up there. Okay, got the three cursor there. Um, I'm going to attach to the wall with something. And for the moment, let's try a path. Rotate it and scale it down, bring it over and up. And let's see. I was thinking. Could just be like that, but I was actually thinking of coming in. That may not be the best curve, but uh I don't want to spend too much time, too much of your time. So I'm going to leave it, and we will give this some geometry here. All right, looks like we're doing some more, a little bit more anyhow. And I can shift S. Uh, Sorry, I can Alt S to make that smaller if I wanted to make it a point. I'm going to worry about that right now. I guess that. Get that hanging in a moment. But just before we do that, let's make it a little bit thicker. Let's come in here and grab two of these. I think they're pretty much straight. Shift D and P to break them out. Take that and let's rotate 90. I'm basically thinking of something like this. 
and uh, on the bottom I would do something as well maybe we will do something like this um, it's hardly noticeable Okay, I don't need to do more, um, but let's start putting a few things in some collections, though. Let's call this, uh, I'm going to call it Lantern, even though I may do different a different style of light. Let's just do that. Okay, and I'm going to just start. I'm going to do everything. Beam. And I'll do all these barrels. And then I'm going to bring in that other stuff that I've already made, those shells. Uh, I'm going to call that uh, shelf. I'll call it shelf. And I'm going to call this wheel. And I'm going to call this, you guessed it. And I don't know what that thing is, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so do I got most of the stuff there, I think. I'll show you where this is headed in just a moment. Now, let me come back to this lantern thing, select the whole thing, and I'm just going to scale it down. I could do rotation and scale, uh, and I'll probably put a piece on here, and they don't, not just going to go into the wall like that. But let's do this. Let's say if we took that and duplicated it and then rotate Z 90 this way look from the side and bring it over here so I can have another one there now is that the right height for that I don't know that matters that much the stairs now are starting to bug me the size of them so we'll have to do some work here I think in reality these are going to go up like that yeah the stairs might be too big So I'm going to get, I'm going to um, come in here and get rid of that piece. Okay, now this is what we've got so far. Like I say, these may change uh, depending on how ornate this place ends up being. But let's get to the real main thing. There is going to be something hanging in the middle of the room. And I'm going to show you that. That's an important piece. And that's going to be the center point, the thing that we focus on. All right, so let me get that, because we're going to be looking sort of like from about there. We're not going to see much on the upper deck. Let's say it was like that. And I'm just going to extrude up, give it a little bit of thickness. Let's make sure that it's like that. And let's grab that bevel. All right. And on that, let's uh, put the 3D cursor there. This is going to be held up by chains, so I'm going to make it a little bit higher, to the ceiling. And you're not going to see that connection exactly. But let's do this. A circle. I'll, make, I'll go with eight. That's fine. Let's bring this out here. I'm going to edit mode and scale it down. I'm going to focus just on that. Look, from the top, I'm going to rotate uh, 22.5 degrees it's just easier for me to to look at it that way I'm going to squash it down like that and I'm going to scale it in a little bit and up like that and that's going to be my piece of chain I'm going to bevel all the edges now and I mean all of them I really should try the modifier, but I just can't help myself. 
doing it this way, getting just what I want. You, I know you can get that out of the modifier. I'm not going to forget to apply it or whatever. I don't know. I just want it done. Okay. And we'll just uh, make that a little bit thicker. And let's take that and bring it down here. Let's uh, rotate X90. Ah, it looks a little wimpy to me. So uh, I don't think I like that. So I'm going to take it and thicken it some more. In fact, what's bothering me is the width. So I'm going to come out to there. I'm going to scale shift Z and pull it in. And I'm going to hope that that's what I want. Rotate X90. Take the whole thing and I'm going to duplicate that. And I'll do that one more time and then we'll see where we're at in terms of sizes and all that stuff. Okay, so that's good. It's too big. But let's bring you in here and let's uh, rotate Y90. I'll show you how this is going to go. And think about this. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay. All right. I'm going to just uh, duplicate everything. Okay, something like that, right? Okay, so I'm going to look from the side, and I'm going to rotate this like this. That'll clip on. I think this is a little thin, maybe. All right, let's take this, bring the 3D cursor there. And we can come in here and we can delete a little bit of this. I think I can delete those. Control L, X vertices. Um, my 3D cursor is there now. And so I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor and we are going to mirror this there and there. Now, I'm not sure I like the chain. You know, that might be something that I just work on myself a little bit more. Um, or do I want to just do that? Bring it down. And if it's not long enough, I can always fix that. I might be able to go with that. Um, yeah. That's the basic idea. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what if I go into normal? No, no, I'm not really going to do anything for me. Well, I'm just going to drag this up. Uh, what happened there? Let's redo that. Let's look from the front. Now we'll look from here. Okay. Back to deleting. Okay. Something like that. Ah, I forgot. It's also going to rotate this way. That's what I was missing. There we go. So it goes like that. Let's try shade smooth. Yeah. Let's actually hit the cat the shadow on now to get the full effect. And just I want to look at the height from the floor as if you know the guys are standing and kind of leaning over that table. Uh, all of that can be worked on, but uh, just for the moment, we'll just we'll just raise it up. I'll delete more chain out there if I have to. And uh, is that long enough? Do I want it longer? I don't know. I'll work on that part later. On top of here is going to be a treasure map. So let's just for the moment duplicate that, scale it, just scale it, 
and scaling in the Y and in the X a little bit. Actually, it's gonna it's got to be pretty big. Let's just go with that for now, and I'm gonna have it curl. So I'm gonna want a lot of subdivisions this way. I'm just gonna roll my mouse up like crazy. Just that, that might be all I need. And uh, let's get that out. And I'm gonna, let's put that into a collection. I'm gonna call this, uh, I'm just gonna call it table. Or hanging table. And this I'm gonna put in a collection. That's gonna be the treasure map. Or just map. And I'm going to bring my 3D cursor there and I'm going to bring in a curve path. And I'm going to focus just on those. Scale that down. I'm going to look from the front. And I'm going to create a curve. And I'm not so good at this. So uh, I'll, I may have to do this a couple of times till I get a decent curve. But I'll just, I'm just going to do this like that for now. Oh, gosh. All right, you get the idea. And at the end, I'm going to come up like this. Uh, we'll just try that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and that may not be big enough, actually. Let's try that. I'm going to pair this using a curve modifier to that and let's see if I can take it out uh, okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull that in I'll take this okay so if I want it to curve around What I'll do is I'll just keep manipulating this thing here. It may not be the best way to do it, but it's the way that I'm going to do it anyhow. I'm going to bring that there. And we'll bring this in. And maybe we'll actually make this smaller. And then we'll play. I wanted to make at least a curl like that, so maybe I will have to lengthen this out to get it to be right. What we'll do is we'll shade smooth. I'll also put on a subdivision and I'll uh, put it on simple and maybe I'll put it up. Actually, I don't need the bevel. Um, I can put on solidify put that up there and just just have something on there and maybe I'll put on auto smooth and let's just have a look at that okay and Let's take this all and bring it closer to the table. Let's make it all bigger. Okay. Just taking a little bit of time to get this the way we want it. So I think what I'll do is uh, I want to get in the curve there. I don't want that last one there. So anyways, yeah, I could fiddle around with this for a little while. And I will have to do that. But you get the general idea of how I'm going to do this. Okay. So that would be there. 
and on top of that probably we'll so have a map of some sort and then we would have like a bottle of some kind like a whiskey bottle or something let's try this we'll come up and in focus on that and we'll bevel and just do three we'll bevel that I can do a bit more maybe and we'll bevel the bottom and then we will use loop tool circle and we'll see how good she does and um, maybe come out and up and get rid of that I may not do it this way but I may just to give you an idea of what we could do let's uh, turn that into a circle as well um, Okay, just for the moment, so we got something there. Looks a little bit like a milk jug. Um, and maybe it's too big. Maybe we want one of these kind of ones. And it's possible the map could be smaller as well. I don't know. You know, and various things on there. Um, how's that looking so far? Well, yeah, the map is looking a little bit big. Um, I'll have some nautical equipment there on on the table. You know, something like a shot glass or something. Let's just use solidify on that. Good enough for now. Yeah, I'll link. I think I'll lengthen that out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in some of those assets that I've already made, and I'll be right back. All right, there's the bucket in there as well. Let's have a look with another view here. Um, let's just try one of one of these. 
And let's also have a look and see who is flipped. All right. So this is what we're coming up with so far. We definitely have more items to put in and a lot of stuff to iron out, but this is the general idea of what I had in mind for my below deck scene. All right, so I got lots more planned, so I hope you'll tune in for that. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.